15 years ago when I was a science teacher in upstate New York, they proposed a wind farm about 30 miles from my house. The intent a long time ago was to sort of start introducing kids just to sort of wind power concepts, design something that was like really open-ended. Kid one was started and it just sort of kept growing and growing. This year we had 32 regional events. So at this event there were 435 kids, parents, and coaches. I'm a part of Team Jupiter, a sixth grade team. I am in eighth grade and I am 13 years old. We're from Jack Jewett in Charlottesville, Virginia. My brother was actually on the previous Kidwin team and it always inspired me. I actually didn't understand that they were producing electricity, but later I figured that out and I just thought that was amazing. Students come together and form a team. They usually make one or two different prototype towers and they build maybe half a dozen different designs of blades. They do quite a bit of testing, some trial and error, but data collection and optimization. They will test the best number of blades to use in the turbine, the best pitch angle at which to put the blades. They'll test different materials. It is extremely rare that you will have something work the first time around. We spent a lot of time working on our blades and our gear system. My big part was the base, and I liked cutting the stuff and drilling holes for the screws. We made our blades out of laser cut in wood, and then we uh, wrapped them around in heat treat plastic. This year I was competing in the collegiate tunnels, and that was very new experience, exciting, nerve-wracking, but made it through all in one piece. She's been working on the project for five months. It is a commitment for her and for a person who values being able to sleep in in the mornings. It, it shows how uh, engaging this process is. I have learned how to manage time when working on big projects and how to take it one step at a time because a uh, turbine, it, it doesn't happen in a day. I learned that different gears work better in different tunnels and it's okay to make changes last minute before going into a tunnel and it's okay if your blade falls off. They learn problem solving, they practice their creative thinking, they get to use their imagination for a practical purpose. It's helped to further develop her team skills and problem solving and looking at uh, things from different angles and finding solutions. These are skills that uh, she's building now that she'll use for a lifetime. By 2030, we need 380,000 workers that are technical. It's a lot of technical people we gotta have, and the reports I'll say where are they gonna come from. <laughs>